Hello everyone and welcome back to another Movie Nights Movie Review. Today we're going to be talking about Stop Motion. Uh, this little indie film kind of had a nice little craze going on on film Twitter and some, you know, film circles about, you know, you got to go see this film, you got to go see this film. And uh, I am late to the party. I have now seen Stop Motion. And I'm going to give my thoughts on it before I dive into it. A little detail about the movie. It's directed by Robert Morgan. It's written by Robert Morgan and Robin King. I believe it's Robert Morgan's feature directorial debut. I've seen that he's directed a lot of shorts before this. And the plot of the movie revolves around a stop motion animator struggling to control her demons after the loss of her overbearing mother. And while there is a lot to like about the movie, unfortunately, the movie doesn't really work for me as a whole. But with that being said, I don't regret watching it. I'm very interested in seeing what Robert Morgan does next because I think there are things in this film that are very well done. I'll start with positives. The actual stop motion animation parts are flawless. They look amazing. I thought the lead performance was very good as well. I believe the actress's name is Aisling Francoisi. I probably definitely butchered that name. Forgive me for saying that wrong. And the film has incredibly creepy visuals and i'm not i'm not just saying that to like throw you know something positive at it like actually unsettling visuals that it, it just kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies as you watch the movie and some of the film has a very creepy atmosphere that a lot of horror movies like to achieve and or i'll start kind of going into the negatives the atmosphere when it achieves it it's great but it doesn't hold it kind of falls in and out another negative for me is the execution of the overall story the story itself on paper is actually quite interesting you know the the question it kind of asks itself at the center of it is am i capable of doing things on my own or do i need someone to tell me what to do that's kind of the the crisis that the lead character is going through and on paper it's very interesting and it you know welcomes a deep dive however i don't think the film really succeeds in fully reaching the potential of that story within this movie i'm not going to spoil anything but it makes some narrative decisions that are interesting setup but they don't really feel paid off in a way and part of it is because it wants to be ambiguous but part of it seems done intentionally just to not tell you what's going on on purpose the film also kind of struggles with suspension of disbelief you know there are a couple scenes especially towards the end of the film where you you find yourself as an audience member asking like well why 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 don't why doesn't x and y and z happen i'm again i'm being vague i don't want to spoil it uh, especially when it comes down to the final confrontation with the lead her boyfriend and her boyfriend's sister uh it's very like how how did we get to this moment like the movie i was watching did not feel like it was appropriately leading up to this moment and you know you start asking yourself about like is, is are there no police you know like and typically a lot of movies do that where they kind of ignore you know rules of the real world but you have to have that suspension of disbelief and that you know good pacing great story to keep your audience riveted so that way you're not thinking about those things and the movie just didn't achieve it up until that point to where it kind of lost me personally and what i will give the movie too though is that it, it swings for the fences on some creative things of uh, some visuals some uh, some sound design choices that i thought were really interesting some of them worked some of them didn't so all for nothing it's not a boring movie you know i'd rather watch a movie like this than a movie that's just completely corporate made and boring you know what i mean so you know if you're looking for something that has genuinely unsettling visuals um an interesting story at its core even though i don't think it executed it very well and is a very different kind of indie horror movie then definitely check this out you know it might be for you unfortunately it just wasn't really for me but there is enough in it to where i think i will check out what robert morgan does next i'm very curious to see uh, where their career goes from here. But that'll do it for this review of Stop Motion. Have you guys seen the movie? What did you think about it? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next review.